A look there at the life and legacy of the architect of modern Alberta. What many people are saying today, one of many tributes to Peter Lougheed, and there are many more coming up this morning. But we take you now to Calgary, uh, where he was born, where he passed away last night in the Peter Lougheed Centre, the hospital that bears his name. There's Aaron Collins joining us as we continue to bring you coverage of the story. So many people remembering Peter Lougheed's energy, his charisma, Aaron, his, you know, incisiveness, his intelligence. Tell me more about the tributes that you're hearing there in Calgary. Yeah, well, Peter Law, he really was a larger-than-life figure here in Alberta, and, and for many, uh, the greatest Albertan ever, uh, making a huge impact nationally and, and, uh, and uh, provincially, of course. And so it didn't take long, uh, it had been uh, long rumored that he was ill, so it didn't take long for those tributes to start rolling in. And um, just under an hour after uh, Mr. Law, it was announced that he passed away, uh, Prime Minister Harper uh, first weighed in. I'll give you a little bit of what he said in his uh, release. Uh, he said, today Canada lost a truly great man. Uh, Peter Lougheed was quite simply one of the most remarkable Canadians of his generation. Of course, uh, one of the uh, people that Premier Lougheed supported in the recent provincial election, uh, Alison Redford, also weighing in this morning. Uh, she says, I'm deeply saddened by the death of my dear friend and mentor, Peter Lougheed. He was a powerful inspiration to me. He was a role model and mentor for me both personally and professionally since I first met him many years ago. And of course, we heard from the, from the Lougheed family as well, uh, and, uh, and uh, this is what they had to say. Uh, although he was known to many for his contributions to Alberta and to Canada, uh, his first uh, dedication was to his family. He was a deeply caring and loving husband, father and grandfather. We will miss him terribly. And the Lougheed uh, family will be uh, um, burying Mr. Lougheed in a private ceremony. Uh, they say a public uh, tribute or memorial will be held later. No details right now on when that will be. One of the many tributes to Peter Lougheed came just this past summer, Aaron. The Institute for Research and Public Policy named him as the best premier of the past 40 years. And there was a, a gala night to celebrate that. You were there. What do you remember of that evening? I was there, and uh, I, I remember a few things uh, quite clearly. One, it, you know, Peter Lougheed, as much as he was known for his political acumen and, and, and his smarts over the year, years, he was really also known for his charisma and, and his warmth and his ability to connect with people, no matter what walk of life they were from. Uh, even if you're uh, a journalist covering uh, covering a story, and and uh, I was, uh, it was no exception that night. Uh, Mr. Lougheed had time for everyone who. Uh, who uh, wanted to speak with him, and I can tell you there were lines of people uh, lined up to, to to have a word with uh, with the, the great man. As as it was, it was felt that it might have been one of his last public appearances. And and here's just a, a bit of uh, what Mr. Law he'd said in his address that night. Let's have it though with a, with a background in our own minds of a strong and united Canada. That, that that's the, my heart is right there. My whole whole feelings, my whole life has been a strong and united Canada. And I think uh, we in the West want to continue with responsible leadership. But I just think that uh, I'm caught uh, emotionally uh, by, the, uh, by an evening such as this. And I wanted to say to you, thank you, all of you. And it, it may surprise uh, people out there that uh, you heard a bit of it there, that uh, Peter Law, he'd always considered himself a, a Canadian before an Albertan, despite all those battles he had uh, with the federal government over the years. And uh, he, he mentioned all of you there and everyone, the political uh, who's who of Alberta was in the room that night, including uh, Mr. Law, he's former press secretary and uh, uh, former minister in the uh, provincial government here, Ron Leipert. Uh, here is some of what Mr. Leipert had to say late last night. It's obviously sad. I mean, he's one of the, he's a person that it seemed like almost every Albertan felt like they knew him and respected him. Maybe they didn't always agree with uh, his political position, but uh, they certainly respected him as a leader in Alberta. And so it's a sad day. And I think that uh, pretty much sums up the way the province is feeling today, Heather. It, it is a sad day, and uh, Alberta has lost uh, one of its greatest, if not its, its, its greatest citizens. Aaron, thank you very much for beginning uh, our look at the tributes that are coming in for Peter Lougheed, Aaron Collins, and